welcome to my channel, Miss Kyra Elise. I am an accelerated nursing student and I am in the middle of my first semester of nursing school. I'm currently on spring break. So I decided to sit down and make a video for y'all. As I have requested, I took a poll and asked if I should make a video on how I got into nursing school or how I studied and passed the T's. And y'all wanted how I got into nursing school first. So that is what I'm going to deliver. Um, first, y'all see this hair. Get into this hair, y'all. I just got my hair braided um, two days ago. And I am literally in love. Y'all know I cut my hair and it's looking a hot mess. So I know I needed to get it braided to let it grow out. Um, so yeah, but this is my look. I just felt like we couldn't miss this moment to acknowledge the look. <laughs> But to get on to what this video is about, this is how I got into nursing school, basically everything I did to get into nursing school and how you can get into nursing school too, if that is your dream, desire, your calling. So um, I have my iPad down here with my notes so that I don't get too off track and so that I can give all the information to you that you need. I never dreamed of going to nursing school. It wasn't my dream from a young age. I actually wanted to be a doctor, but God said otherwise. And here I am on the path to nursing. So basically in high school, I went to a science and math institute. I love science and math, so I am smart, but I don't think being smart cannot get you all the way to the end. You still need to um, have good worth ethic and whatnot, but I did go to a science and math institute. I got my first degree in biology. So as y'all know, I'm an accelerated student and you need to have a previous degree to um, apply to an ABSN. And I did my undergrad at Grand Canyon University, got my degree in biology. As I said, I was going the medical school route and then God says, screw, screw. So every school has um, different prerequisites that they require for you to have taken um, before you start the program or before you apply. My program only had, I won't say only, it had 11 prereqs that you needed. So if your degree is in something else besides science, you're gonna need to get all those prereqs done before you um, start pursuing your ABSM program. But since I had a degree in biology, I had a lot of the prerequisites covered. My school that I go to now required that we have seven of the 11 prereqs done prior to the application. So you only need to complete seven, but even after you apply, you still need to finish the four, the other four to start the program. So I actually had 10 of the 11 done. I got pretty lucky in that department. I needed to do English two still. Here, I'll list out all the prerequisites I had to take. I took microbiology in lab, anatomy and physiology one and two with labs, English one and two, statistics, psychology, sociology, a math class, so algebra. And also, um, you had to take biophysics or chemistry. Your girl took all of them in undergrad. Y'all, I was more than qualified. I was more than qualified to be in this nursing school. If they didn't accept me, they are crazy. But yeah, I had everything. I just need to take English 2. I ended up taking my English 2 at a college. This is a plug, a plug for y'all. I took my English 2 course at Rio Salado College. Rio Salado college i'm telling you guys if you need prereqs like right now and you don't have time like if you're crunchy you're in a time crunch for your application to be due rio salado look it up they offer tons of courses almost every course you need besides your science courses with labs if you need your psychs your social english histories religion anything like that rio salado college they have classes that start every single Monday. 
every Monday they start a class and you will get your credits. You will get your credits. You can check with your school to make sure you're going to get tr credits transferred. But if my school accepts them, I'm pretty sure majority of schools accept them. But um, yeah, they start every week. They have eight week options for classes, if I'm not mistaken, and 14 weeks, I believe. It's either eight and 16 or eight and 14. So you can do short, fast. I did that eight week English class, knocked it out, got my credit, and um, was able to start my program because I actually got accepted to this school. Like I said, we only needed seven of 11. I got accepted with only 10 of 11 and took the English after I was already accepted. So I was able to knock it out before classes started. So those are prereqs. Have your prereqs. You need to know what you need to do and do them. Know the GPA requirement that is needed for your school. Every school is different. You need to know the GPA requirements for all of them. My school required a 3.0. I believe my undergrad GPA was something like 3.7, 3.8, somewhere up there. I got A's and B's. I got mostly A's, some B's. And then, oh, I got one C in organic chemistry. I don't want to talk about it. One C, but yeah. And then... So GPA, know your GPA that you need, strive for it, strive for greater. Don't strive for the minimum, you need to strive for greater because nurses are great. I actually don't know what T-score is required for my school. I looked it up and I just don't see it. But um, look for, you can look online too and search up your school. There's a website called allnurses.org, I believe that I used to um see it it's a form of people who are in nursing school and they explain like what uh grades they got what their gpa t's were and stuff and that helped me to see like where i line up within the um pack and because a lot of times like i said gpa the minimum is 3.0 but a lot of people are coming in with 3.5 3.6 3.7 you can't just be at a, like you can't be a 3.0 and you might get in but just strive for a little higher don't just go straight for that minimum but um with t's i did great on the t's i'll put my t scores up here i achieved a level of advanced advanced is not the highest but it's second to highest. There's five levels, I believe. Basic, or I think it's developmental, basic, proficient, advanced, exemplary. I got advanced. Advanced was the second to highest, which was okay with me. I was okay. I was 97th percentile, and that number looked good to me, and I was okay. So um, I studied for the T's for about two weeks. Um, I don't recommend everyone to do that. You have to know yourself best and do what's best for you. Um, because I did have my materials like two months ahead and I took a practice exam and I actually did really good. And I was like, I don't think I need to study two months out. So I studied closer to the time and it worked out for me. Uh, y'all can see that my English scores were a little, um, not, was it English? Yeah, it was English was a little lackluster. But um, uh, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> I'm in nursing school now, and that's all that matters. <laughs> but um, yeah, take your tea seriously. Study for that. Study well. Get your materials in order. Take lots of practice exams. I will be making a video dedicated to teas as well because I have some helpful tips and tricks for doing well on the teas. Um, yeah. So that's the T score. So basically my application process went as so. I first applied to the school. You have to typically apply to the school, be accepted, even if you're not taking classes that semester, you need to apply so that they have you in your system. And then I looked at all the prereqs I needed to take. I only need to take one for this school. So I took that prereq. I gathered up all my transcripts that I needed, sent them out to the school, and then I studied for the T's, took the T's, submitted my T's to my school, filled out the application, the actual nursing application, and put everything they wanted into it. And it was all up to them and God at that point after I sent the application in. 
but my process was very smooth y'all so some helpful tips i have for y'all to get into nursing school do well in your prereqs and take them seriously take your prereqs seriously they are the foundations of what you're going to be learning in nursing school almost everything that i learned in prereqs is coming up in nursing school um in undergrad we like to say oh i'm never gonna use this again oh i'm never gonna use that again but it's not true i just got done with um cardiac cardiovascular system and pathophysiology and the cardiac is re relies heavily on physics blood pressure is physics resistance diameter length your blood pressure is based on physics so me taking physics was super helpful what else what else math you need to know math you're an adult you need to know math so take math seriously a m p of course a m p is like the foundation of nursing you need to know your a m p so take it seriously thing everything comes back up again you might as well learn it now so that you won't have to learn it in depth later. So I think that's one of the big reasons why I'm actually doing very well in nursing school and succeeding because I know a lot of information from my undergrad and I enjoy the information as well. So know yourself best when it comes to taking your prereqs and the T's and whatnot. If you can't handle taking multiple classes at once at the time, don't take a bunch of classes at that time and load yourself up and then lower your grades for all those classes. You want to take the amount that is right for you and take them when they are right for you. Don't rush into a situation so that you can get into nursing school at the soonest time possible. Do it in a stepwise manner that makes sense for your life for your situation so that you can succeed well. You want this to be an enjoyable experience somewhat. I honestly feel like I really enjoy nursing school. I love school in general, but I am enjoying nursing school because I feel like I'm in it at the right time when I was supposed to be in it. So do what's best for you. Don't focus on everyone else's timeline. Do what's best for you and stay on top of your deadlines and requirements. Like I said, I had a Google Doc of like a checklist of everything I need to do. And when I finished it, checked it off. Okay, I got that class done. Okay, I sent in my transcript. Oh, they still need that transcript because it's on my checklist. Go to that website, get that transcript, send it in. Now I can check it off. Be very intentional. Be very on top of your deadlines and your requirements. You don't want to miss out on an opportunity because you missed something that literally could have taken five to ten minutes. Focus on what you need to do. Make a de make a um checklist of everything you need to do. Make a timeline of when you need to do it. Say you are one to two years out from even applying from nursing school. Make your timeline. Make a timeline. I need to do this during these months, this during that month, this during these months, so you can move through smoothly and gradually to get to your goal of getting into nursing school. I went into, I did my undergrad in biology. I have most of my prereqs from my undergrad in biology. You need a previous degree to be in an accelerated nursing program. Then I finished my prereq. I needed one more prereq, so I did that prereq. My GPA was already up. I didn't have to do much to my GPA. I studied for the T's exam, did great on the T's, and sent in my application with all the information that they wanted from me and I got this lovely letter in my email and I clicked accept and I accepted my seat into nursing school and that is how I got into nursing school. I hope that this video was helpful, informational and gave you some peace of mind. Um, I guess I should insert if you're going to a school that wants resumes, recommendations, has interviews, that's you, boo. You got a plan. You got to put it on your checklist. Put it on your checklist. I didn't have to do it. My school was nice, easy peasy, grades, T's, prereqs. That's all I really needed. But if your school requires those things, put it on the checklist and get it done when it needs to be done. But that is my journey to nursing school that's how I got into nursing school 
it was fairly simple um yeah i'm super grateful but again i hope this helped you out i really thank you guys for watching my video and sticking around if you have any questions then leave them in the comment section below thank you for joining me on my channel miss kyra elise i hope you guys have a good one and that you are encouraged and that you feel ready to start your journey to getting into nursing school all right y'all have a good one peace Thank you.